Hi everyone, the topic is Electro Reception. Before going to the topic, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for notifications. Like, share among your friends and comment. Electro Reception is the biological ability to perceive electrical impulses. It is an ancient sense that has evolved independently across the animal kingdom in multiple groups including Agnathan means lamprey, cartilaginous as well as bony fishes, some amphibians and mammals. The multiple and independent evolution of electroreception emphasizes the importance of this sense in a variety of aquatic environment. The electrosensory system of sharks is composed of a series of electroreceptors known as the amphilae of Lorenzini distributed over almost the entire surface of the head. It is thought that the major role of the electroreceptors is in the detection of prey with other functions including the detection of predators, facilitating social behaviors and orientation to the earth magnetic field for navigation. Discovery of Electroreception It is believed that the electric fish evolved from a pre-electric fish without electric organs but sensitive to electric signal. The electrosensitivity might have been used to detect the muscular potentials of prey, predators and members of the same species. What is the physical stimuli for electroreception? In marine organism, in the ocean, electric fields are induced by both biological and geological causes. So, the geological causes may be tectonic forces and the earth magnetic field which may produce variations in the electric field. It is thought that Erasmobranca are able to utilize these electric fields for navigation and identification of their environment. The potential difference produces current loops which yield a bioelectric field in the surrounding waters. For example, when a fish swims, muscles contract, muscle contraction take place when chemically dependent channels impermeable to sodium and potassium open. The movement of such ion across the membrane produces an electric field that travels away from the individual in the conducting medium. Amphilae of Lorenzini The amphilae of Lorenzini or Chondrichthyne electroreceptors were first discovered by Marcello Malpighi in 1663 but were described in detail by Stefano Lorenzini in 1678 after whom they were named. The amphilae of Lorenzini are complicated and extensive specialized skin sense organ characteristic of elasmobranchs. The amphilae of Lorenzini are jelly filled canals found on the head of elasmobranch which form a system of sense organs, each of which receives stimuli from the outside environment through the dermis and epidermis. The canals range anywhere from 1 to 25 cm length for elasmobranch and are approximately 0.1 cm in diameter. Each canal ends in groups of small bulges lined by the sensory epithelium. A small bundle of afferent nerve fibers stimulate each amphilae. There are no efferent fibers. The amphilae are mostly clustered into groups. The length of the canal vary from species to species as does the pattern of distribution. An interesting anatomical observation is that the same numbers of nerve fibers to electroreceptors and to the ear, eye and the lateral line. Here is the sketch of two electrosensitive organs and their associated canals in a marine elasmobranch. Each amphilae consists of a small chamber created by small bulbous pouches known as alveoli. From the alveoli radiate a canal of about 1 mm wide leading to the surface of the skin where the amphilae of Lorenzini can be seen as visible pores. Lining the alveoli is a layer of receptor cells and pyramidal support cell. Each receptor cell has an apical kinocilium, mobile cilium situated at the top of the cell projecting into the lumen of the amphilae chamber. Tight junctions join receptor and supporting cells creating a high resistance barrier between the apical and basal surfaces of the sensory epithelium. 
The canal wall is a double layer of squamous epithelial cells and connective tissue fibers that maintains the high electrical resistance between the inner and outer surfaces. The mucopolysaccharide, low resistivity, high potassium gel, also important for sensing temperature, fills the ampullae and canal creating an electrical core conductor such that the potential within the ampullae lumen is isopotential with that at the skin pore. Individual receptor cells are innervated by primary afferent neuron that encode the amplitude and frequency of a stimulus and send it to the brain. This diagram also shows the structure of amphilae of Lorenzini. This diagram also illustrates the surface area of the head of a squalid shark which is covered with the electrosensory system with a magnified illustration of an individual amphilae demonstrating how each cell is innervated by primary afferent neurons. Role of electroreception in feeding behavior. The experiment conducted by Kalmin suggests that detection of electric field directly influences the feeding response of elasmobranchs. The behavioral evidence combined with the ability of elasmobranchs to detect electric field in their natural environment lead to the conclusion that electroreception is a biologically significant modality to these organisms. The great advantage Elasmobranchs have over other organisms has made them into one of the most threatening and successful predators on earth. Dear friends, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and please subscribe my channel.